Here we are with the uh, interface arms and the gripper arm uh, assemblies I'm just gluing together. Um, I've still got to print the Ninja Flex parts. Uh, I was wondering what NF meant on the <laughs> on the drawings. So uh, that's got to be NF. And there's the little uh, spring catch that I printed, which probably broke <laughs> in normal PLA. So I've got to reprint that. Uh, but the um, this is quite fun. This works for all the world. Stands, it's a surprising one actually, I thought that was going to be, uh, I'm glued, that, that's glued together, uh, but that is, that's glued together, uh, I haven't actually glued that, and that just slots in there, um, I sanded it down quite a bit and it, it runs uh, really well actually, and that screws in at the top there. I'll show you the inside actually. This is, I'm about to glue this assembly together, but uh, you can see the rifling inside. Um, I've just uh, I, it, it printed really well. I don't think I did a particularly high resolution print on this. I think it was just ten percent. Um, but uh, I just sanded that out, scraped out the uh, any infill that was left in there. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I did use infill on this, and that all scraped out really well. There's a bit of thread there, which works fine, and just sanded it down. And this piece sits in and moves really, really smoothly. As I say, I just just sanded it all back. So. Uh, movement on that. So that's um, that's sort of done, ready to just finish off gluing that. Uh, I've glued this piece together. There's a smaller one of these as well, I'm not sure if that's uh, if that's an alternative, I don't know. But um, I've got, um, that's the other, this is for the, uh, that's the gripper arm. Um, I've got the other piece but I've lost it so I uh, hope it won't have to reprint it. Um, I'm sure it's around. I know I printed it. These are the uh, servo, uh, the um, servo uh, holders. On the drawing, I've noticed uh, it's the same. This one, this is on the PDF drawings, is also sh is shown on the uh, on the gripper and on the interface arm. Uh, but it's not. That is the gripper arm, and that is the interface arm, uh, which is if you open the SDLs up and just have a quick look at them there. It's obvious. It's just the on the drawing. It doesn't show that. Uh, so I assume because you've got left and right. Uh, what else have I got? So that was where the little uh, Ninja Flex uh, spring toggle thing goes. Sits in there. And uh, the arms, the gripper arms, just go in like, like that. Yeah, you can see that. And uh, I sort of had it working for a couple of seconds and then it snapped. So that's where you have to have, you've got to print the ninja uh, little pulley that goes inside. But um, that's working. Uh, yeah, so these, these are the servo arms. Uh, which obviously got to be a Ninja Flex. I've got some um, these little those pulley bits. So that's all. That's all I've got for the arms. I've, um, I'll show you what else I've been doing. Get the two battery boxes I've glued together. They need sanding down, but they're in, they're, uh, they're all glued together. It's mainly a day of gluing. This is the um, arm pieces, the, the bottom of the centre leg support. The other bit's printing uh, in the background, as you can hear. It is printing. This is part of the centre leg sections. I'll show you the centre legs. 
Okay, this is, um, I've been printing the, the centre leg section. Um, I think some, sometimes on my camera the white gets washed out a bit. I do apologise about that. Uh, so hopefully the contrast isn't too bad. Um, that's uh, the middle sections. Um, and I'm just waiting for the, show you on there, the small little f um, four mil, yeah, you can see that, four mil, uh, square nuts to slot in there and then you put a full bolt. Uh, there's quite a bit of discussion about this on the uh, on the um, forums I've seen so uh, hopefully it will go together. I can see I can see it's going to be uh, just to get the, the, the nut in there and a thin enough nut to sit in there um, but uh, I think most people are using the square full mill nuts so that should go in so then you can put two bolts straight through the bottom there. That's the, the, the filler piece, or so make it uh, slightly higher if you're using that. That's if you've got the, if you're going for the 232 version, I think this is required. I've just screwed this together just to see how it's going. I mean, I've, it's obviously not on the, uh, on the, uh, on the uh, R2-D2 at the moment because it would be sitting, the base would be sitting under there, uh, which I'll put together again with the base, and you can see what I mean. But I was just checking how the the, uh, the nuts go in because you've got there's nut holders under there, so there's a nut sitting inside there, and there's three nuts. Get it on the camera, sorry about that. Three nuts under there on this side, so there's a support bracket holding those nuts in. Um, this is all glued together now. So I'll take that off again in a minute. These end ones, I couldn't get both nuts in at all, so I've, I've just, the support holder, I've sort of cut back a bit and just got a single uh, nut in the bottom. But uh, in fact, you don't need a nut in the top. So, not sure what that hole is for, but was, I'm sure that'll become apparent. Uh, so that's, uh, I'll take that apart and put it on the base and you'll see. This is the actual centre leg sides, uh, body, frame, again it's not glued. This is, I know uh, Mike was suggesting print this in nylon or ABS or, or whatever, I've, I've gone for uh, PLA. This is 40% um, I think I've printed these, no sorry I didn't actually, I think this was like 20%. So hopefully these do work out strong enough, I mean we'll soon find out. There's a couple of pieces that will go on here once that's all glued in, and then you've got the splines that go in, which I haven't printed yet. So uh, that's that's to come. Um, and I'm printing the, uh, the section that goes in here, I think, somehow, or whatever. Uh, and then the centre leg goes on there, and I think these. And these are part of the foot mechanism, I think. So, uh, just right in the middle of printing all the bits and pieces. I'll show you how that base goes on to the, uh, the lower section of the, uh, of the R2-D2. Okay, so just uh, taking this apart again. Um, I'm just using... Oh, I'm going to fall out in a second. There's coach bolts in there for the time being. But that is the assembly. Um, I've used Allen heads uh, nuts in there, but anything to hold that in. So that's that's uh, super glued and bolted together. So it's, it's actually quite strong. Put that to one side. So if that was, I'll show you the nuts. Actually, you can see. So the, I think the main thing is, don't forget to put them in, uh, as I've noticed uh, some uh, people commenting on the uh, forums. Um, so they're in, they're M6 uh, nuts just gone into there, and they sit inside, there's a little uh, uh, um, nut cutter underneath, so they, they actually slot in, and then these little 
plates, which I think I showed in a different video, just sit on top. It is, I've just very slightly glued it with just a couple of tacks of super glue in each corner, just so if I wanted to take it all apart, and then I've just got tape holding it together as well. So um, I could take the tape off, but if I, I could knock that back out or put super glue, uh, de super glue on it, and just take those, if, if say if a nut fell out or something went wrong. So um, you can hear them in there. As you can see, this is the base uh, ring, the lower ring of the uh, R2-D2. I haven't actually stuck it on or bolted it onto the main uh, upper two uh, rings, two and three yet, just because um, it's so much easier to work on it like this. If I can turn this over, you'll see this will just slot in like that. I don't think there's a specific wear out. I think it's... Uh, is it either way? And you can see, got bolt holes to, to bolt through in there. This piece. bolt in hopefully it's first time I've actually done this so uh, it should go through just while I'm doing it I've noticed this this piece here um, I'm just making sure you're on camera actually hits the edge there so I'm not sure if I've got the right if that's the right piece um, I need to check that because it's uh, fouling on the corner there I might need to, that might be the wrong piece to go in there anyway, so something I need to look at. But uh, I'll just temporarily screw this down. So as I mentioned, I haven't actually this is the first time I've actually properly assembled this, so it seems to go together. I'm not gonna do it up too tightly, but it seems to go together fine. So that is now held in. These pieces will screw through and underneath. So that's the system upside down. Sorry, I did think the, the white gets slightly washed out in the uh, on the camera but uh, that's it upside down and you can see that the screw holes that would take through there through there and into these uh, nuts if I can get the nuts to fit in there. So it's going to be quite a hefty, uh, going to be quite a hefty robot. I can see why Mike's saying this should be really strong, because there's an awful lot of weight sitting on that. So if I need to reprint this, if it snaps, uh, that will be my own fault. Okay. Okay, here's an update on the shoulder section. I've now glued these pieces together and also I was just pointed out by Ben on the uh, YouTube comments. Uh, I'd mounted that on the outside there rather than slotting it into the inside. So I've actually taken those bolts out at the bottom there. Uh, so I've had to take off this top ring, which wasn't glued down anyway. So that just actually slides in locks in a lot a lot stronger uh, the other one I've had a workout a little bit to get it to fit this this one fitted uh, just slotted straight in this side 
I've just had to shave it down a little bit on the inside. I had some uh, glue had run down on the inside lip there as well. So again, I've glued that one together. So that's a really heavy piece now. And that just slides in. It's a lot tighter on this side, but it does go in. Slides in like that. Just move the camera back. And you can now see that's actually now in, sitting in there. I'll just swing that around. This is the uh, piece that's actually sitting against something now rather than being a gap underneath there before, a gap behind there before. Uh, so that's, uh, as I say, thanks to. Uh, Ben for pointing that out, uh, most appreciated. I'll edit the previous video, make a comment on that. Uh, so that's now in there, um, and um, let's continue. <laughs>